First of all, uh, I am a candidate uh, for Cook County Board President. And the reason I'm running is because of the lack of leadership that has uh, been over at that uh, governmental body for the last few years. Uh, I look at each and every one of you, and I look at my kids at home and say to myself, there's got to be government that's going to be sensitive and responsible to all of your needs when you become our age. Some of the issues that I see that face us here in county government is one, the sales tax. You just heard from one of my opponents, and she talked about the, the uh, sales tax that she's looking to repeal over a four-year period. My intention when I'm elected to that office is to repeal that sales tax immediately. And I say immediately because what happens is once you get in that office and you've got that sales tax and you decide to repeal it over a four-year period, you kind of become dependent on that money. Well, we've made some very difficult decisions at our agency, and I'm looking to make those same difficult decisions at, uh, in Cook County. We need to streamline our operation. We need to consolidate some of the departments. And it can all be done without letting people, uh, laying people off or letting people go. We will evaluate every position, every situation that is going on in county government. Uh, the, in, the jail system, uh, pre, uh, the alderman talked about uh, incarceration and the, the public safety of this particular area. That's another thing that has to be evaluated. We have to sit down with the sheriff, Tom Dart, and look at the, the process that takes place and goes on in county jail, as well as in the state's attorney office and how these young offenders are and older offenders are prosecuted. My thought is that we should increase the, the electronic monitoring program that is going on so that the nonviolent offenders won't have to be incarcerated and yet they would be, you know, monitored through this electronic monitoring system. That will not only save us having to incarcerate these individuals, which cost the county $100 per day, but it potentially could save on the increase of employment for people that need to work in those particular institutions. How can you help youth to get home every day without being beaten to death? Well, I think what needs to be, uh, needs to happen is, uh, and I've had a discussion with a few people at the Board of Education as well as the, the Chicago Park District. I know when I was growing up, there was a lot of after school programs with the Board of Education uh, for kids to get involved with the different clubs uh, if you weren't involved in sports or in sporting events. Because of the, the rising cost of uh, having those particular events, those programs are being cut. But if you weren't participating in something in the schools, you always had the park districts to fall back on. I remember a lot of my friends were involved in the boxing programs that they had here locally. And now because of the, the funding on that aspect of it, uh, those programs are, are going by the wayside. But there needs to be a dialogue in, in between the, the various governments here locally to see what we can do in order to keep a lot of the free time that you have available after school, if you're not doing homework, uh, burning up energy and, and working in some type of uh, a club or athletics or, or something of that nature. So my commitment is to, again, to continue that discussion with the Board of Education here in Chicago as well as the park system. Hi, my name is Dolores Kelp. I attend Wendell Phillips High School. And my question is, what are you going to do to um, provide better health care to Chicago Slam youth? Well, the, the health care system right now, as we're saying, you know, it's been talked about is in uh, pretty tough, uh, tough shape. And with the independent board in there now, they are making progress relationship to uh, uh, cutting some of the, the layers of what we would call fat, uh, excess uh, help and stuff like that. But one of the things I'd like to see uh, that board and, and with discussion with that board is to reach out to some of the, the private hospitals. There are 47 different private hospitals in the Cook County area, and they receive upwards of $489 million in tax-exempt benefits. I would like to see more of a sharing of those benefits with the residents of Cook County who can't afford to pay for medical uh, treatment or health care services. And uh, that would be a dialogue that we will go on with them.